So you've got your video idea, you've written your script, but you just don't know what kind of shot type to use for certain shots. Let me help you with that. Huh? Hey everybody, it's your boy JD here and I'm here to cover basic shot types. So when you're filming any basic sequence, there's about five basic shot types you're gonna use. Extreme wide shot, wide shot, medium shot, close up, and extreme close up. Those are the main five. So number one is the extreme wide shot, also known as the establishing shot. It's usually the shot you use to establish where your scene is taking place. It's taking place in a park or it's taking place at a bank. You usually, you're nice and wide, far away. You see the whole building. You might not even see the subject or you see the subject, your character from afar, just walking into the building to know that's where they're going. So number two, wide shot. Usually you're using a wide shot when you wanna see the subject's entire body. You wanna see what they're doing, whether they're dancing, whether they're fighting. You just want that entire body in focus so you can see every action that they're doing. Wide shots are also used when there's a lot of people in the scene and you need to fit everyone in the shot because once you get too close, you're not gonna be able to squish everyone into frame unless they're like that, which I mean, unless if that's what you're going for, that's fine. But number three, medium shot. There's a German three, medium shot. So in my opinion, the medium shot is kind of like the bread and butter of your scene. You're shooting from the waist up of your character. It's usually a lot of your dialogue scenes or like walking and talking. The medium shot is great because you get enough of the body from the waist up. You can see all the gestures with the hands and when they're moving, but you're also close enough to see their emotion and what they're talking about. But when you want to get a little more emotion and really see what the character's thinking or talking about, that's when we go to number four, a close up. So close up is kind of like what I'm at now. You get your shoulders, you get your head, just enough where you can really see what I'm talking about. I would say medium shot and close up are your main two shot types that you're using in any conversation. So like I said, the close up is used when you wanna be about the framing I am here. You're getting close to the face, you can see a lot of the emotion or what the character's talking about. If they're really trying to make a point or you're really trying to, you know, bring the audience into what they're talking about, their emotion. That's when you go in close and you can just slowly push in to really emphasize, oh yeah. <laughs> and last but not least, five extreme close-up. Extreme close-ups are super useful when you're really trying to emphasize a certain feature of a person, like they have a scar on their mouth, or you're trying to show their anger and show their eyes. Extreme close-ups are also used when you're just focusing on objects, like someone's wallet or their finger, like they cut it. You, you just wanna show a lot of detail. That's what an extreme close-up is for. So those are your five basic shot types. And you can always mash those up together. You could do a medium long shot where you're a little closer than a long shot, but a little further than a medium shot, medium close-up. The beauty of knowing all these shot types is you can try whatever works for you. You know, you can shoot multiple coverages. You could shoot the scene as a wide shot, then shoot it again as a medium shot, and then close-ups, then extreme close-ups and then you just have fun in the edit and you play around with what works. But that's basically it, everybody. Get out there and shoot those shots. If you found this video helpful, just give it a like and subscribe. Leave a comment below on what your favorite shot type is and any video idea that you want me to make next. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.